What are the crazier crowds you've ever seen? How was yeah? Well, Paul's been wanting to ask you about Woodstock. Yeah, you're but... at Woodstock '99, which I know is kind of like in, infamously was... sort of a shit show. No, not our day. Okay, our day was amazing. Um, we went on and it was an amazing show. The first show was was a. It's one of the highlights of my whole career. I'd never seen that many people, and everybody was having a good time, and there was no bullshit going on that night. It just got progressively worse because the the situation out there water was 10 bucks the outhouses were overfilling and shit piss was everywhere um it got really really bad out there so i understand why everybody got pissed and started rioting it wasn't a, a good setup but for our for our night was amazing i remember flying over there we all rented a jet we got this big what was a 737 it was us biscuit and an ice cube and we all got on this plane and we all rolled all to woodstock that was fun the party on that thing was ridiculous there was like the crew and everybody in the back and it was this midsection which cube had and we we're all playing craps in there and it was all gangsters <laughs> there and then there was the front section which was my section because i like it cool and just chill so i'd walk back there play some craps and then walk up to the front where i could just relax and there was no craziness going on but i mean that show was man it was nuts there's so many people and i'll never forget that show i <laughs> won't it and you just, were you were like a year sober then, right? Yeah, and I'd been I think a year. I mean, yeah, I was a year sober, and I was still. I didn't know I was going through DTS. Yeah. I was still going through. <laughs> just like in I playing kicked Woodstock. That, I kicked the cold turkey. I mean, I stopped. I, I'd shake and have anxiety attacks and all kinds of crazy shit um, in my bunk. That whole process, I didn't know that you go through this stuff. So I thought I was just going crazy, but I got in there and I did it, and I went back and i couldn't even move because we'd been in the studio working on a record we even played songs at that show that had no <laughs> lyrics i was freestyling just mumbling <laughs> um some of the songs it was it was great but after that i went back and i they had to carry me back in the dressing room and i just i was dying i was in pain i hadn't moved like that in years and it was it was rad then the next day we got on the plane went home it was a good time yeah dude 